That beautiful city behind us is Portland, Oregon. We are in yet another episode of Inside Athletics brought to you by the IAAF. I am your host, Atul Bolden. Next to me is a young man who has done very well. He is the indoor and outdoor record holder of Italy, Gianmarco Tamberi. Hi. <laughs> Congratulations, first Thank of all, me. on your win not too long ago here in Portland. And people are talking in Italy now about this being the golden era of high jumping because of you and Fascinati. Are you feeling the pressure going into Rio because it looks like the Italian athletics team will be depending on you two to bring home medals? Yeah, for sure. Uh, now the high jump is, is the most important event in Italy. So we must, we must uh, concentrate 100% in, in what we are doing because we can't fail. It's not like pressure, it's something that pushes you uh, every day to do something more. Because yeah. you know that you can't you can fail, you can't, do, mm, you can't lose there. Right. So it's good. It sounds good that everybody wants us to jump hike. It's good that uh, Marco is jumping hike and the other guy, Silvano Kezain, that is not here. That Alessia, that Ross is jumping hike. Because all the, all the, everybody in uh, hike jump in Italy is doing well and it's good for us. Motivate. I think your win here at the World Indoor Championships was even more remarkable because you were in a hostile environment. Because you had Eric Kennard of the United States, everybody wanted him to win. Yeah, and you were the Italian guy trying to keep him off of that gold medal podium. But you seemed to, to really embrace it though. Tell me about what that competition was like here in Portland. Yeah, yeah, it was really hard to compete. Uh, in, in the beginning, I had a lot of problem running the approach. I couldn't understand the track. It was really good track. It was uh, really bouncy. Really was it fast. too fast? Maybe too fast. That's the problem. In the warm up, I was like jumping easy, and everything yeah. was it was okay. I did really good jump in warm up. When the competition start, I'm really adrenaline guy. I'm really <laughs> competing guy, and so I start to f uh, run faster and. That's terrible because I was every time too close to the bar. I couldn't take off. I couldn't uh, uh, go faster in the end okay. because I didn't have space. And so it was really hard. I fight a lot. And uh, yeah, for sure, everybody was uh, was for Keenard in the beginning. After when they see me that I was fighting a lot and something, it's going, it's coming out. Yeah. They maybe also crowd for me and they give me a lot of energy. It was amazing. Now you have won on the Diamond League circuit before, but this win here was special because now you have a world title. And you know, Mutaz Barshim was here. There was a very, very good field. Eric Kennard has an Olympic silver yeah. medal. So you are the world champion. You defeated a very good field. Do you go back to practice now with a little bit more confidence as we get ready for Rio and the circuit? I just want to go back to my home like I live my home. I want to go to the track like I live at the track, like just 200% every day in training. Mm -hmm. I want to push myself. I want to jump 240 real. I want to I wanna do my best there. Yes. That's my purpose. My, that's my real goal of this year. And for sure, I'm really happy about it, about gold medal. I'm, I want to enjoy now. I want to, uh, yeah, have, have fun. <laughs> but when I go back for training, I, I want to not forget, but put this uh, in the angle and keep going to my, to my dream that is real. Th that's, this one is just one step. Now, uh, I was noticing that when you compete sometimes, you have this half of a beard. Yeah. Where the be yeah, <laughs> where you're, sure. you, do the be you do your beard and your mustache and everything for half of your yeah. face, and then the other half is clean shaven. Yeah. Is that, did that happen by accident? Did you do mm. it on purpose? And how, uh, how much of a trademark has this become for you back at home? Uh, <laughs> these things, mm, it's born in 2011 just uh -huh. for something fun. It was in, Itali in one Italian championship junior, I was so nervous before it, and I said, okay, I must do something for relax. <laughs> My beard, it was really short, so nobody could see that uh, it was off. Right. And uh, I improved my PB about 10 centimeters there. So the competition after, I repeat this, and I took the medal in, the wor in European cha Junior Championship. Mm -hmm. And okay, I say, maybe I have to do every competition this one. You and see, now it's like a ritual. I knew when I saw it, I said, 
I know how superstitious athletes are. Yeah. And it's probably he did yeah. it. He did it once. I wrong that day when I did it. I wrong that See? day. <laughs> and because he had a good result, he decided, okay, yeah. this is what I'm doing. So clearly, you are a guy who is very expressive. You like to have fun. Yeah. Um, being Italian, that doesn't surprise me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, but when you're not on the when you're not uh, competing. Yeah. What is the thing that occupies your most time? What are you most passionate about apart from jumping? My biggest passion ever is basketball. I love the basketball and I'm here in Houston, the fir in uh, Portland. The first thing that I did is went to see, I went to see Portland Trail Blazers, Trail Blazers for oh, sure. Yes. The, the, the first day that I arrived, that I landed here. <laughs> and after, now it's, uh, this competition is done. Tomorrow I will not go in Italy, but I will go in Houston to watch Houston Rockets. That is my favorite team. <laughs> wow. And I owe to meet James Harden. That's one uh, is my favorite players yeah. now. Tell James to play a little defense. Um, I was going <laughs> to ask you. <laughs> I was going to. Uh, I was going to ask you though. Yeah. How did basketball lose you to the high jump? Because I know how passionate. I've been to Italy a lot. I yeah. know how passionate Italians are about basketball in general, and certainly about the NBA. How is it that basketball lost you to the high jump? My father was a night jumper in the Olympic game in 80. Mm -hmm. So I had one big figure in my, in my family that not pushing, but saying me every time, are you sure that you, wanna, that you don't want to try to do it? Right. Uh, you're, you look talent, you, you, look, you can do something. <laughs> every time I say, I don't want, I want to play basketball. Shut up, shut up. Right. Uh, when I was 17 years old, I did uh, uh, like competition for school, national competition with the school of high jump, but I didn't train, never. And I won national uh, without training. So every time it was not just him that say me try to do high jump, but all my friends, why you're playing basketball? Go to high jump, why you're playing basketball? Say, okay, please shut up, I go to high jump. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, after it start uh, in 2009, uh, after three months that I start, I did uh, the standard for World Youth Championship. I was like maybe 20, 22 I arrived, so not so good. And after, step by step, year by year, I improved a bit. In 2012, I did uh, the Olympic game. And the day where, when I, quali I was qualifying for the Olympic game, it's like, I think, one of the best days that I can remember in my life. And now I hope that uh, 16th of August, the final of jump, hmm. it will be my, my new best day ever. Now you're obviously a numbers guy because you know the date of the final. Yeah. And you know what also height? The 8, 8 p.m. Oh, 8 p.m. So you know the yeah, time. Yeah. Is that Brazilian? <laughs> is that in Brazil time or is that in Italy time? No, no Brazil time. It's Brazil eight time. PM, yeah. um, <laughs> let me give you a little bit of advice, though. Um, I went to Barcelona in 92. Yeah. And I did really badly. And I said, it's okay. The next Olympics, I will go to Atlanta and I will run 9.90. And they put it in the paper. Bolden eyes 9.90 for next Olympics, yeah. which I did, and it was third. 90. Yes. No, but you know, no. no. Here, here's how it applies to you. It applies to okay, you I in that. To say 2.50, and I will jump to 50. R yes. Oh, okay. be, be careful. <laughs> it's so in, easy. Be careful <laughs> in putting it in terms of just a height. Yeah. 236 may win. 238 may win. So focus on yeah. the winning performance as opposed to that number. Trust me from somebody who it's... No, something. Yes, I know a little bit about, <laughs> yeah. about you know, a silver and, yeah. and, and bronze medals at the Olympics. But listen, I enjoyed watching you this weekend. Uh, I think you have a fabulous career ahead of you. I think you're going to influence a lot of high jumpers in your country and in Europe. And I wish Could you... Be. Yeah, and I wish you all the best on the road to Rio. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for joining Thank me. You. All right.